What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe Dobbini and I'm an electrical engineer. And today we're looking at how you can increase your chances of getting a job in this tough market as an electrical engineer. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna take a look at this unemployed woman who says she's been searching for work and it's been impossibly difficult. Let's take a look at it. For its long-term unemployment is becoming life altering. Good job, buddy. When 41-year-old Emily Groveman is not volunteering at this animal shelter, she's usually in her New York City one-bedroom apartment looking for a job. It's been impossibly difficult. It's been almost two years. For almost a decade. Yeah, we got London, China, Istanbul. She worked in hospitality with the NBA. All the swag, tickets to parties, back of house tours, meets and greets with the players, that would all flow through me. Groveman went on to lead a she was working with the NBA players, Golden State Warriors, and she still can't find a job. It's crazy. Just shows you how much they care about people like her who aren't the ones playing basketball. Team at a digital marketing firm for six years. She left in 2023 and hasn't been able to find another job since. She's tried everything, she says, from reaching out to her network of friends to working with a recruiter. Oh, hi. I'm Emily. And even posting these resume reels on LinkedIn. The job market has been brutal. All right. Um, as an electrical engineer, please don't do that. Um, posting videos like that will probably make you look more desperate than anything. I highly don't recommend. But obviously, you can see her career path. Uh, you have to be in front of people, in public places, talking to strangers. So I can understand. But in our aspect of things, I feel like that would be kind of pushing it when it comes uh, to electrical engineering. For quite some time. But the no's have been relentless. I had 13 interviews with 11 different people and- 13 <laughs> interviews for one company? Yeah, and then they were stuck between me and the other candidate. And ultimately they went with- 13 interviews for one company is crazy. I thought Amazon already did, a, Amazon and Google do a lot of work making you go through multiple interviews, maybe three to four. 13 interviews? Honestly, after the sixth one, if you tell me to come back for the seventh, you won't see me. After the seventh one, you won't see me come back for the eighth. That is crazy. With the other person, I was like, I can't keep doing this. As the rejections piled up, so too have the bills. Since March, I've been living off of my 401k. Your 401k? Yeah. Your 40... No, no, no. All right, so I don't know how down bad I got to be, but before I start selling my 401k, I'm going to move in back with my parents if I can do there. I ask my siblings if I can move in. Maybe she doesn't have parents, maybe she doesn't have siblings. I'm gonna find a roommate, I'm gonna sleep on her couch and I'll help them with whatever payment I can. But the last thing I'm gonna do is take out of my retirement. Cause if you look at it, she's a lot closer to retirement than I am. And what when she's robbing herself right now, is robbing herself when she gets older and you see the field she works in, she might not be able to be as uh, fruitful in the future in the field she works in. So this isn't the time to be taking out your 401k. And this is actually pretty sad to see. 41 years old. Yes, I've been dipping into it every month now. Yes, nearly 2 million people in this country face long-term unemployment, the highest number since 2022 during the pandemic. The primary reason we're seeing long-term unemployment getting worse is because of economic uncertainty coming out of the White House. Labor. Now we saw the market is horrible. This, this lady, young lady has been looking for a job since 2023. Now, as an electrical engineers, thank God we are engineers. Our outlook is probably better than uh, hospitality. So let's get into it. How to get into an electrical engineering job when the market is tough. So before anything, in this current moment in time, the number one thing that you need to be worried about is flexibility. It's crazy to me how I talk to a lot of engineers who are telling me, hey, I'm having a hard time finding a job. It's been hard. I've been applying everywhere. And then I ask him one question. Uh, are you willing to move? He's like, what do you mean? You're from Texas? Yeah. Have you been looking for jobs in Wyoming? No, why would I want to leave Texas? I'm like, hey, there's 50 states in the United States. If you really need a job that bad, you got to be able to move. As electrical engineers, we have a degree that's high in, man, in demand. The only reason why you're probably not finding a job is because you're not willing to move or take that leap. Yes, I'm, I understand that if you move, you might have to take a pay cut or some sort of instance, but it's much better than 
taking money out of your 401k. And this is why I, I tell young engineers who are fresh out of college, don't buy a house unless you are guaranteed that you're going to be staying at some location for 10 years. Because with the way this economy has been going, if you got released from your job today, are you able to move five states over and start working immediately? Or are you going to be stuck having a house? Yes, you can lease it out. You can get renters, but all that headache, whenever you don't have a job and now you got to probably make expenses to get your house ready for renters to move in, to take your stuff into storage, all that costs money. And it's a headache that you don't want. But besides the point, the number one thing that should be on your mind is flexibility. I guarantee you there's people right now, there's companies right now in Ohio or some random state in the United States that's looking for electrical engineers, but electrical engineers don't want to work there because it's in the middle of nowhere. And you have to be the one that's going to be willing to move in the middle of nowhere to supply for your family, for yourself and to make a living. So now that we got that out of the way, you know, you have to be flexible to move anywhere. Now, when it comes to applying for these positions, I understand that in college, you're going to make senior design projects, projects that you probably already have on your resume. But what I need from you is to tailor uh, your resumes, right? You're going to tailor your resumes, but you need to create projects that are going to tailor towards whatever positions you are applying for. If in college you made something related to VSLI and you're trying to get embedded system or uh, RF position and you have nothing on your history that shows that you have studied RF design or RF hardware, they're probably not going to give you the job. So like I said, go outside, touch grass, come back in once you're regenerated and start working on your project. And I have another video um, on the channel that you can look on how to build projects. Uh, I guide you through that. So tailor your projects towards your uh, your resumes because you're going to have a few times, which I'm going to show you right now. But first, before we go any further, thank you for reaching it this far. Uh, if what you're getting so far, you're finding benefit from it, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and all blessings from the most high. Now, if we look at the job outlook for electrical engineers, it's pretty good. The job outlook for 2024 to 2034 is about 7% much faster than average. So there's a higher, even when the job market is really bad, we still have a higher chance of getting hired than most people in, in the statistics. So you should not be afraid. You should be confident when you apply for these jobs. Don't get discouraged because God will find, will help you find an opening for you. So common sense, tailor your resumes to whatever job positions you're going to be applying to thousands of positions in a, in a, in a job market that's this hard. You're not going to get off scot-free. You're going to be applying and applying and applying. For example, you're going to have a hardware resume. You got, maybe you'll submit 100 applications, but on this hardware resume, you're going to have a hardware project or the, or tailored to where like it's very hardware heavy. So they understand your skill sets and you send those 100 applications. If there is, uh, if you're looking for RF roles, make sure this resume tailors towards those skill sets. So take out anything that is just, noise and make sure you have everything that an RF manager will, will want to hire you for and tell her that. And if you don't have a project that required that uses radio frequency, Hey, maybe take your existing project and find a way to incorporate RF into it and just update your project. And then on this resume, you can just talk about how the RF portion of that project, because in the interview, they're probably going to ask you about it. Your V uh, likewise with VLSI or embedded system, the same thing, tailor your resume. Taylor resume. I, I think this is common sense, but there's somebody out there who hasn't understood this. So I'm, I'm showing it to help you get to that next step. Use eternal referrals. No matter how bad the market is, eternal referrals still trump and statistics show that you are from 4% to 34% more likely to get a job whenever somebody refers you internally. 34% is a lot from 0%. So anything you can get to get in front of these managers to get these interviews, take 100% advantage of it. So this market is hard to find a job. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to put in work. You're going to have to be flexible, right? Be flexible and understand that you will have to move somewhere else that you're not used to somewhere new. You have to be open and move so you can maximize your chances. If you just want to stay in your state 
or your city, you automatically limit yourself in where you can find a job. But open that path, open that doorway to anywhere in the United States. I see even some people trying to look for jobs in the Middle East or around Dubai because they don't get a lot of engineers with American education. That's another pathway, but that's for a different video. Um, so you're flexible, you tailor your resume, you update your projects, uh, but before that you touch grass, then you update your projects and use your internal referrals and I guarantee you, you will start getting interviews, you will start getting jobs. There's somebody out there, there's a company out there looking for somebody that meets everything you bring to the table. So make sure you put your, your effort to find that company back. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, hey, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Jadavani is out.